yogis, welcome back. So good to see you here. Today we are going to be working on our forearms. So this is perfect for you if you have a wrist or a finger injury, something in the forearm that's not allowing you to get all the way onto your hands. So look for your chaturangas, for your planks. We want to be able to get the work in, stay strong. So that's where we're going to be down on our forearms today. So no worries if your wrists are hurting you, you can do this one. All right. So already be warmed up. When you come to this, you need to do a couple sun salutations or some stretching because we're going to jump right into it. All right. So first things first, let's come down onto our forearms. If you don't know where your forearm width is, you can always check in by grabbing opposite elbow and then bringing your hands down flat. If you need to interlace your hands here, you can, but it's always preferable to keep the palms down flat. Then you can kind of grip with your fingers if needed, but feel free to interlace if that's more of your jam. All right, let's start off by just getting right down on the forearms and holding that plank position. All right, here we go. I got my timer ready. Get in all of our exercises, stay strong. So make sure that you are rounding through the upper back, protracting the shoulder blades. Pressing out of the elbows, out of the shoulders. We want the leg muscles engaged and turned on. So lift your kneecaps, hug your muscles to the bones, and <laughs> pull your low belly in, belly button towards spine. Now, I don't want you hiking your butt up. That's a bit of a cheat, as is sinking your hips. So try to find that nice middle ground right in the center. Also, keep your neck neutral here. So we don't want to drop the head in or hike it up too high. Just keep the neck nice and comfortable at a neutral position. All right, you're almost to that minute. So keep pressing out of the elbows around that upper back. Feel as if you're spreading your muscles across your upper back here. Five more seconds. There we go. All right, now we're gonna dip our hips from side to side. Here we go. Let's go. Right hip and then left hip. Rolling over the toes. Keep that upper back rounded through this whole series. Low belly pulling in. Breath is smooth, even. In and out through the nose. You're already halfway done, so keep working. Halfway done with this exercise, <laughs> not all of them. We got work to do. Ten more seconds. Keep working. Last five. All right. We're gonna come right onto our right forearm. So turn your right forearm in at a little bit of an angle. Step back into your side plank, and here we go. So if you wanna stack the feet, oh, it didn't start. Now we're going, now we're going, sorry. So press out of that right elbow. Really press up, really engage the muscles that wrap around your shoulder blades, so your lats. Squeeze them as if you could pull your right elbow to your right ribs. So you don't want to just rest here, but make it push, make it work. If you're having trouble balance, you could bring your left toes down just for a little balance, or you could bring your left fingertips down. But if you can keep your hand up and your foot up, find the work. Already halfway, you're almost there. I'll let you stop a few seconds earlier since I had timer issues. Squeeze those lats, guys. Feel them working. Arc up through those lower ribs. Five seconds. There we go. All right, roll to the left side. Left forearm in at a little bit of an angle. And here we go. Strong upper back. Keep the core engaged, so abs are engaged, butts activated. Everything's nice and tight here.
Already halfway. Ten more seconds. Keep working. You're so close. Last five. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to do a little bit of work on the forearms. So we're going to, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to go right knee across, in, I'm sorry, right knee to right elbow, left elbow, all the way across like a fallen triangle. Lift the left arm, dip the hip down, and then we'll switch sides. Left knee to left tricep, right tricep, Send it across like a fallen triangle. Dip the hip. All right, so we're gonna do that for a minute. Start in your forearm plank, and here we go. All right, right elbow to right tricep, left tricep. Send it across, fallen triangle, dip. Second side, left elbow, across, fallen triangle, dip. Just like that. Right forearm, left forearm, Fallen triangle, dip. Almost done already, 10 more seconds. And get in one more on each side. Last one. Nice job. All right. So for the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to start in our forearm plank. Hop the knees, out, legs out, hop them in, jump them in, jump them back. So out, in, up, back. This one's really intense. It's tough. All right, we got a minute. Are you ready? Set. Let's go. Out, in, up, back. Out, in, up, back. Challenges are good. Challenges are what change us. So stick with it, stay calm, stay focused. Over halfway. That one was tough. 
All right, we have a second side, <laughs> so let's do it. On the left side, you guys, lift it and then dip it. Okay. You could always keep that top hand down if you need a little bit of support, but we always challenge ourselves, do what we can, right? Already halfway. Stay with it. Strong legs here, guys. Don't let the legs give out on you. Ten more seconds. Each time we get through another exercise, I'm like, so glad for that beep. <laughs> okay, next up is mountain climbers in our forearm plank. We are getting so close. Just a few more exercises. Let's bring it. All right. On our forearms. Bring your right knee in, then your left. Right, left. Keep moving. And if you want to start making it a little more, make it a little bit of a jog. Pump those knees. Feel it through the core, the shoulders, the back, the legs, everywhere except the wrists, right? Okay. Over halfway. Keep going. Stay calm, stay focused. Push the floor away and your knees lift. You kind of curl yourself up into a ball. Looks like this. So we're going to do that. Got the minute going. Oh, are you ready? Me too. <laughs> Let's go. The last one the tucks on the forearms. So you should be on the tops of the feet. But if your feet start to cramp, you can tuck the toes. But it makes it a bit easier. So challenge yourself. Try to keep the toes tucked. I myself am already getting a foot cramp, so I feel you, it's tough. Stretch it out like this real quick if you need to, and then come back. Over halfway. Switching sides here. 
You don't want to let your foot touch the ground. Lift it up. Use your strong core. Switch. Switch. You're halfway. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. Almost there. Last 10, so two more. Last one. Okay, so that is it for the exercises. If you want to challenge yourself, like I am going to, I'm now going to try to hold a 30 second baby crow. And then after that 30 seconds of baby crow, I'm going to work for five forearm stands, lowering the baby crow, just five times. And I'm going to do it as slowly and controlled as I can. If you are done for the day, good job. Amazing work. Pat yourself on the back. That was hard. But if you're able, like I said, I'm going to hold a 30 second baby crow and then I'm going to do five lowers from pinch on a baby crow. All right. Here we go. Both knees onto the triceps. And I'm going to wait till I get to my right second. One, two, three. Gosh, the problem with putting it this close is that I can't see. Pressing out of the shoulders, low belly pulling in, lift the toes, maybe they touch, halfway. And if all you got in was 10 seconds or five seconds, that's awesome. All right, good job, that was 30 seconds. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go up into a forearm stand Lower five times as slowly and as controlled as I can. Light as a feather into that baby crow. And you know, at this point I could be tired if I fall. It's all right, I'm just doing my best. You do your best. Don't give yourself too hard of a time. All right, gotta get those arms in the right place. Press out of the shoulders. Gentle little float up. Find that line and lower down. That's one. That's two. Three more. My triceps are feeling it. There's three. It's really tough after that workout. Make sure your arms are staying parallel, otherwise you're not gonna be able to land your knees. Two more. Last one. Oh, I wanna shake out my triceps so bad. One more to do. Ta-da! Relax out the arms, relax out the shoulders, just let them flop, hanging nice and heavy. So you're breathing down. And now feel free to continue on with your workout, whatever it is that you're doing today, or call it a day. Either way, very good job today, guys. I hope that your wrist heals. And if your wrist weren't injury, and you're injured and you're just working on building up the strength in your lats, in your triceps, and your shoulders, very good job. Come back to this video again and again, build strength. If you couldn't complete it, that's okay. That's how you gain, gain endurance. We try and we try. It's okay to fail as long as you're willing to accept that and come back and do better than you did the last time. Very good practicing with you guys today. Take care and namaste. Ah, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.